Yo, what's good, YouTube man? It's your boy B, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'm bringing y'all the best balance scheme in Madden 22 for current gen, man. So let's hop right into it. In today's video, the formation we're gonna be in is single bag wing flex. Now, with this formation, the passing is elite and the run is elite. You feel me? So it's not one of those balance schemes where they're both mid um, and together they're great. Both the passing and the run game is elite, man. So in today's video, the plays I'm going to be showing y'all is PAY cross, um, halfback stretch, um, PAY drag wheel, the trap play, slam, and mesh spot. Those are going to be our six plays that you want to run, man. Um, and you can, you're always open to call any of these other plays, you feel me? Um, slot cross is another good play, but it's just not needed with um, the other plays that we have. Um, and that we're, that I'm going to show y'all, but you can call these other plays. They do work very, very good as well, man. So let's hop right into the gameplay. All right, y'all boys, here we are on our first offensive possession. And y'all know we rocking with the Titans, man. Just because it's a balance scheme, why not use the best halfback in the game, man? And the most important part about a balance scheme is to get them re to respect the run um, before they respect the pass. So we're going to start off in our stretch play. Um, and it's probably my favorite favorite play in the whole entire scheme, man. If you get to the outside, um, nine times out of ten, you're good for at least about five yards. Um, and the thing about that stretch play is it has a lot of, like, that big play, that big run potential in it um, to where you can get those 30-yard, 40-yard 40, um, 40 runs with your hat back. But it looks like he's, he's sending some heat at us. But we're just gonna, we gonna stick with the run game for right now. We're gonna stick with the run game until I see it not working. And we're on the 18 yard line because we made him put put the rock down. And um, we made him fumble, so we do have great field position here. But um, we gotta give him the respect to run just 100%. And we have Derrick Henry, and there we have it, man. An easy touchdown um, with the run game. I didn't pull out any of the other plays. Um, it took me two plays to score um, just off the stretch play. So that just shows you how good this game is. And he's coming out in heavy linebacker sets. Um, and so yeah, so I'm gonna catch y'all on the next opposite possession and hopefully we can run some pass plays and we don't have We don't have to just run two plays to get in the end zone. But yeah, I'll catch y'all there right, job, boys Here we are back in our formation and as usual man The playbooks that have this formation and plays will be down below in the description So be sure to check that out if you want to know what playbooks have this formation in it. So Since I believe he thinks we swim and run we gonna go ahead and we gonna run our match spot play. Now this this play probably has one of my favorite routes in all of Madden in it, um, and it's gonna be that post curl um, that y'all gonna see once he calls his plays. But all you wanna do is just smart route that post curl from R1, um, put X on the flat, and then you can do whatever you want with circle. Me, I'm just gonna go ahead and send him on a slant, um, and you now have a look just like this. And you can smart route that post so he can get underneath those safeties. I'm going to hit that. So all you have to do is just make the right read here. And there we have it. He leaves Derrick Henry wide open down the field. Um, and we're just going to take what they give us. And another quick score, man. I'm telling y'all, like, what what more explosive balance scheme do y'all know than this, man? Like, that's, that's two possessions scoring within two plays. Like, come on, man. Like, this is a crazy scheme. Like, this this scheme, like, you're not going to lose a game if you call them the scheme, man. All we got to do is go down, box them on the other end like we did the first time. And then come back on the offense possession score again um and hopefully the goal is to make bro quit um before the half if not we go, we just gonna win the game regularly um and i'm gonna catch y'all after i box him on this next possession i did exactly what i said i was gonna do i boxed him on the other end of the field um and now it's time to just keep dotting them up so here we're gonna go with our pa um wide drag wheel and i don't really like to call this play too too much against man coverage but he's been um He's been calling the man coverage a little bit, so if I notice that he's in that man coverage again, we're going to audible to something else because this play is... Okay, yeah, it looks like he's calling the zone here. So the way I set this up, there's two. There's multiple ways you can set this play up is... And one being is you can set up X um, on this little wheel route by putting a circle on that flat, and that's the way we're going to run it this time. And then you can do whatever you want with your hat back in um, R1. I'm just going to block R1 for some time. Um, and then you can put square on anything you want me. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on a slant um, And now you have a look like this your first read is gonna be this X route on this wheel route if he's in zone If not, we might have to throw it away because that slant is the only man being route we have on the field and Luckily dang it. It was broken up, but he called man against us So we're gonna have to we're gonna either have to stay away from it or we're gonna have to 
keep that cross on the field. But here, I'm just going, I'm going to run the ball. I'm going to keep running the ball until he, he either goes in zone, um, and comes out that man, or he, he just starts blitzing us. Because this, this man coverage, when people call man, it's, it's a few ways you can get him out of it. And running is one of them. So with us having the balanced scheme, we had the perfect thing to kind of get him out that man coverage, man. Um, and so, yeah, so we're going to go with our next run play, and it's going to be the halfback slam. As you all know, I put the halfback slam up on my channel before. This is one of my favorite run plays. Just because when you call this play, you have the option to kind of wiggle your way in the backfield and choose which way you want to go um, without any delayed cutbacks or any animations just like that. Um, and so, yeah. Um, and there we have it, the end of the first quarter, up seven points. Um, and we just got to use this draw to go up 14 and then keep going, you feel me? But, like I said, we're going to go with this halfback slam. And I'm going to go ahead and double team his inside stuff. And we, it looks like we, we probably going to end up going towards the left side of the field here. And boom, there we have it. An easy, easy, easy first down. Um, and we're going to go with, we're going to go back with mess spot, man. Mess spot, um, it's been working for us. And he's been calling that man so we can hit that, that post very quick. Or we can hit that slant. So we're going with the same setup. Um, put um, AJ Brown on that slant. Smart route squared. Make sure you smart route that post curl. X on a flat and you have a look just like this and then we can go ahead we can hit that if he's calling man like that we can hit that post quick every single time man um we gonna we gonna do that until he starts respecting it um but here on first down we gonna go with the trap play um just so i can show you all the plays that i that I, you feel me that's in this scheme um because i can really just keep running stretch like i said that's my favorite run play out of this scheme um it works it works like almost nine times out of ten you don't get a positive game as long as you can get around those that edge um, from that DN or outside linebacker, you should be okay. Um, and there goes that trap play. As a lot of y'all know, traps are one of the best run plays in Madden in general. Um, and so, yeah, so we're going to go back with our mess spot play. It's been working very, very well for us. Um, I believe I've shown y'all every every play so far. So we could just go ahead and start playing this more like a regular game and trying to win. So we're just going we gonna, to we gonna stick, stick with the same thing, same game plan. Um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, boom, we got we got Julio Jones across the middle of the field once again. Um, if he's going to continue to press, uh, man, we're going to continue to hit our post right across the middle of the field, man. Um, oh, no, I haven't showed PAY cross. Now, here, it's, it's a zone beater, but I do want to try it against man coverage. Um, so, if it doesn't work, <clears throat> you feel me? I'm warning y'all now, it isn't a man beater. It's a cover three, cover two um, beater, and sometimes even a cover four beater. But the way I like to run this play is, I just you have to hold left on the on the um, left stick to motion them. Um, do not hold right on the left stick because it's gonna motion them all the way to the um, outside of the field. Um, and you want this little corner route right here, and then you can do whatever you want um, with your square and then streak R1. That's the setup. Um, and here we have we have square across the middle of the field. I just put him on a slant because I know he's been calling his man coverage the whole time. Um, which is a little bit boring because I don't get to display the full, the full, full scheme. Um, but here, once we get down the red zone, y'all know what we, our go-to is. We're going to go ahead and run the ball, man. Um, that's the blessing. Uh, dang, he got that. Uh, like I said, that DN will shed sometimes, so that is very unfortunate. So we're going to go to our halfback slam and try and run up the middle. But that's the benefit of having a balanced scheme, having the run in the pass. Once you get down the red zone, you should have no troubles because you have great, great run, run plays. Um, to kind of go to, um, to at least get you to like the two or one yard line, um, to where you can just go on goal line and run like a power roll or, a, um, fullback dive or something like that. But here we are. We in, we have the two minute warning of the second quarter. So it doesn't look like we're going to make him quit before half unless he quits after this tutty. Um, and here he is once again, he's back in this, in this freaking heavy linebacker set. So we're going to go back with the stretch. Anytime you see a, a, a very, like a set that's very heavily reliant on players in the box. Um, call the stretch, um, and nine times out of ten, you're going to get a positive gain. As y'all just saw there, I got to about the three-yard line. Um, and we're going to go in the hurry up, um, and we're going to call the stretch once again, man. Derrick Henry, um, he's a monster. He, you feel me? He has a, what it takes to just run every single play, you feel me? And there we have it, man. An easy run touchdown down in the red zone, man. All we have to do is probably box him one more time. One more time before I have, get the ball back and score, and we should be good, man. And I'm going to catch y'all when I do that. Oh, man. Unfortunately, it looks like I got to stop on the defensive end, and I believe he's about to quit the game. Um, so if he does quit, I am going to go in practice mode to kind of 
go more in detail of how to run some of these plays because he he played man coverage the whole game and lost before half so i am going to go to practice right quick before um in this video so i can show y'all the full the full full scheme um and what these plays can do man so i'm gonna go ahead and head over there and i'm gonna catch y'all when i get there all right y'all boys <clears throat> now first things first i'm gonna be showing y'all the pa um i think it's called like pa cross or something like that but this is the zone beater that I mentioned, but unfortunately our opponent continued to call man, so I wasn't able to display what the zone beater looks like. Now for the setup, um, this play does work best with a high round master, like any play works better with high round master. So I'm gonna show y'all the, the, this in this best form here. So all you wanna do is you wanna take square, put him on a post, and then take circle you want to motion him to the right side of the field but do not hold the left stick to the right side hold it to the left side and it's going to put him in this like glitch position in front of your tight ends um and then the next thing you want to do is just streak r1 um you can do whatever adjustments you want with x it doesn't really matter um and all you want to do is look to circle on that corner route towards the outside the field and he's going to be wide open by himself every single time and there we have it, man. And that, if that's a faster receiver, if I were to put um, like Scotty Miller right there, that's an easy rack, Tutty. Uh, Mike Evans just isn't the most ideal receiver for speed, but it's okay though. So I'm gonna show you how to set up one more time. Put square on the post, motion your inside receiver in by holding the left stick to the left, streak R1, um, and then just look to him on the outside of the field um, for an easy completion. Boom, wide open. Easy rack, like I said, fast receiver. You're gonna be able to get that in the end zone every single time, man. Um, and that's pretty much it for that play. Um, and that might be it for the video. I believe I show every every other pass play, um, the setup for him, and it worked against man as well. So yeah, that's pretty much wrap up the video right there. All right, y'all, man. If y'all enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, sub up, man, on Roto 5K and comment down below what type of vid you'd like to see from me in the future. And it's your boy Bean, and I'm out, man.